Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, my name is Sim UK. This is uh, Curve Digital's brand new game called Space Crew. It's a very, very good game. I've got about five hours of gameplay into it, and um, I can say that although I have a lot of a lot of areas where I think this game needs to make some changes, I'm not permitted to create any review content at the moment until after the embargo. So I can't really discuss what the problems are and what the problems aren't. I've tried to put together a playlist, but all the problems kept popping up and um, I kept mentioning them uh, and I couldn't stop because it was so frustrating. And the reason why it's so frustrating, Space Crew is a really, really tough game. It might look like a kid's game right now, just looking at this uh, intro screen, but this is probably the hardest game I think I've ever played. There is so much going on and the controls kind of handcuff you basically to the mouse i really think it needs to add an extra crew member and diversify the control system um, as it is but i can't really say much more than that that being said it is a very good game it's just really hard um, you definitely don't want to go getting yourself into any fights until you've got some cash in the bank and you've upgraded your systems and so on because this game is so hard it is incredibly tough but I do want to showcase Space Crew. I want to show you what the game is capable of. And based on the gameplay, maybe you can make your own mind up on whether it's good or not. So I'm going to delete my previous gameplay, which is quite annoying because it's about three hours worth. But um, we're going to go again here from fresh. And I'm going to just try and play the game without focusing on the limitations of the game as I see them. So we've got a mission that needs my immediate attention. Uh, a module in a comms array by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complications. And it's a perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. We need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. Okay, so let me um, let me just play. Um, so we've got the captain. We've got the first officer, who's also the comms officer. We've got the... Uh, Who's that selected? Oh, that selected uh, the engineer. The engineer is the key to all of this. Without the engineer, you're not going anywhere. The engineer, I'd say, is more important than the captain. The engineer is absolutely everything in this game. The engineer needs to keep the uh, the engines running, which is basically this bit here. You've got uh, the gravity system there that needs to be repaired. You've got these like electrical circuits all over the ship that need to be constantly repaired uh, you've got uh, that's the O2 generator I can't remember what this is I think this is the shield generator so if that goes down your shields down here in the bottom left hand corner will not regenerate and as soon as your shields are down then your ship itself is getting hit so that's what you need to keep um, in mind of. And the reactor health, that's what this is. This is the reactor. So you've got to keep an eye on the reactor health. There is an awful lot going on. There really is. This really is the toughest game I've ever played. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six members there. I think we need a seventh. I really feel like with one more gunner, the whole game will just operate and work better. Just one more person would just improve everything so much. But like I say, I'm not allowed to um, review the game. So I'm going to stop there and let's just launch. Now there is a demo available. You can get the demo for free on Steam right now. And it will allow you to play this first level. But um, this is the full game. So um, we'll be able to do a lot more. And I'll be able to show you a lot more. So I'm going to put up a whole bunch of videos in the next sort of two weeks before release. So that you can really get a good idea of the game and what it's capable of. Um, well, I say that. I'm going to try, but um, round about mission 5, 6 or 7, I'm probably going to get everybody killed and that'll be the end of the game. So, here we go. There's the objective. And for some reason, my middle mouse is not working. Well, that's a big problem. Let's just make sure that the Logitech is running. Space crew, yeah. What is going on? Well, that's weird. That's weird as bananas. I can't zoom in. Has something weird happened? No, the middle mouse button is the middle click button. Why is that not working? 
Oh, because he wants me to do this uh, this thing. I forgot I was in the tutorial. Sorry, guys. That was me trying to play the game before the game is ready to let me. Right, click the mouse, and now we'll do that. There we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Uh, you can press tab to speed up time. It only works when there aren't enemies around. So bear that in mind. A good way of identifying if enemies are there, I suppose. Maybe uh, The reason why I couldn't see... This stuff in the top right hand corner is because my mouse is in the way. So I'm just going to move my mouse up a little bit, and that way I should be able to see what the bloody hell the game's telling me. There's too many things to keep an eye on. Right. Hyper jump. So we're at the moon, and um, because we have our navigator, our comms person, um, not only can we see where the enemies are coming from, but She'll also tell us quite importantly. Oh, let me do this. The game is desperate for me to do what it wants me to do. Desperate for me to do it. So once you have comms on, it will give you an indication of where the enemy are coming from, and that's a really useful, uh, massively useful uh, attribution for the for the safety of your crew, I guess. So not, I'm not going to go into too much detail on what everything does um, because there doesn't seem any point because the, the game's tutorial is kind of a as-you-play tutorial. So it will basically guide us through and, and tell us everything. And you can see we're taking quite a bit of damage on the, um, on the shields. As soon as the shields go down, it means the ship is taking damage. Now, ordinarily, we'd be able to select the captain and do some evasive maneuvers, etc. But because we're in the tutorial, we can't do anything at all. So let's get ourselves over to the comms array. One thing I, I, I will say is that I really wish that um, I could use WASD to spin the camera around rather than having to use the mouse for absolutely everything. It does get a bit too much, in my opinion. Um... And I haven't been able to connect my controller to try that out. It just won't connect. I don't know why. I have an Xbox One controller wireless. I've tried it wirelessly and connected. It doesn't work. Not sure why. So, uh, for some of the missions, you're going to have to use your tractor beam to uh, draw things in. So you can see the, the, the captain is going to position us appropriately. A lot of the cutscenes and animations are cool. Also, if you press shift... Oh, is it not going to let me do it? No, it's locking down all the buttons because we're in the tutorial still. So, okay, so this is the tractor beam. You see it looks like a magnet. Um, so if we just click on him and hit retrieve, you can see the cutscene starts and it pulls the stuff in. Pretty cool. If any of your crew gets sucked outside the aircraft, <clears throat> the spaceship, excuse me, and that can happen, you can go and suck them back in. You can retract them uh, back into the ship. Whether or not you can save their lives, eh, probably not. I've not managed it. I've lost four crew members that way. <laughs> You've got to be really careful. And it can happen so quickly before you've even had a chance to think about it. Okay, back to the tractor beam. And this can also push it back out. So uh, we'll deposit it. Cutscene again. You don't get a cutscene all the time just for the important stuff. And you see it's going out back into the uh, comms satellite or whatever it's called. And then we'll get Mr. Mon Montan Montanari. Um, well, I was going to say we're going to put him back on the gun, but it looks like we can't. Uh, so now we've got to find the way home, which is this way. And you can see that it says to base, that's something that you don't get to see unless you have a comms person on the comms uh, control desk. So bear that in mind. That will catch you out once or 2,500 times. You get a little bit lost. Sometimes you've got to do like five or six jumps in order to get from one place to another. And yeah, that can get pretty intense. Right, so we've got the captain. I'm going to charge up. And engage. A nice easy tutorial to start. So we'll do a couple more missions uh, for this first episode.
But um, ideally, I just want to do one mission per episode because they really are that tough. They are really tough. And they get super difficult super quickly. Now, one of the most important things to remember is that... Um, I do like this, actually. I've only just noticed this. Where the Earth is half in uh, darkness, you've got lights on that side of the planet. That's pretty smart. Nice little attention to detail there. The Star Catcher. The Star Catcher. You can change all the liveries and stuff. Change the name of your aircraft. Okay, mission accomplished. Obviously we get coins and we get research points. We use those to upgrade the ship and do all kinds of cool stuff. And like I say, I've only got like uh, probably five hours of gameplay into the thing already. And all I've really done is play the first five or six slash seven missions. Um, and I just keep dying at that point. Um, and it's the... It's such a hard game that some of the game mechanics really cause me some issues. Um, like, for example, and I'm not going to keep doing this, I promise, but if you instruct somebody to go pick up a fire extinguisher, uh, they don't then go and extinguish fires. They just stand there watching the fire, holding a fire extinguisher. And I don't think we need to have to tell them to, how to use the fire extinguisher on a fire. Sure, I mean, you could tell them which, if there were two fires, which one to pick, but they really ought to just be smart enough to just go and start the fire. There is way too much going on to have to deal with that as well. Um, and, you know, if you're just playing the game, it's probably a lot easier, but if you're actually making a video and doing commentary at the same time, that's insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. Let's go do this. Although this is a real combat mission, there are still a few features of your ship that we will need to try out. At some point during the mission, some of the controls for your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. So let's get... Well, in this first episode, we'll just do all the training and then uh, we'll leave it from there. So if you want to see my full review on this, uh, once the embargo is lifted, which is basically on release day, which is a bit frustrating, um, you can see my full review on this so I urge you to watch that before you buy the game but um, you know if you liked Bomber Crew then this is like the perfect next step from that and I expect it's um, it's going to tick a lot of boxes for you okay there's the objective Speed it up a tad. As far as I know, you never get attacked in uh, this Earth realm. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever been attacked at the moon either. Possibly I have. I forget now. Alright, charge up. And engage. Incidentally, when you charge up, it uses four units of power. Oh, I think they're going to talk about that now, actually. Select your engineer. Right, here we go. So we're ready to hyper jump, and you can see here we've got four bars of energy being used. Uh, we only have four maximum at the moment because we haven't upgraded the um, the reactor. So um, from from this panel here, we can modify the reactor output to different systems on the ship: shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. That's this one here. While charging for hyper jump. Four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engine, so I, I can't now do anything. That's locked down. Um, so I can't engage gravity, I can't engage weapons, I can't engage shields, nothing at all. Until it's upgraded, the reactor only has four units of complete power, so currently all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate, so you have two different types of weapon you have these which are basic chain guns they just fire uh, bullets like ordinary these are like um, phaser guns they reduce enemy um, shields 
and until the shields are down you can't damage the ship that makes things really difficult later on though you can upgrade these guns and you can actually upgrade them so that they have both and they'll switch out depending on what they need to do that's a massive step forward up until you get those guns this game is just insanely difficult it can be unplayably hard okay sorry uh, little family incident I had to deal with that right uh so what about during uh, yes, notice that your energy weapons are showing that they don't have any power. That's this one and this one. So these two are rail guns, these two are f uh, energy guns. Your gravity generator and shield recharger are also without power. So um, this means that we have no gravity in, in the aircraft. Obviously, trying to get around with no gravity makes you a lot slower, uh, a lot more difficult. Technically, I think it could make you faster in some circumstances, but not in this game. Um, and also the uh, shield recharger, which is this one. So if we get hit whilst we're trying to jump, uh, then we're in big, big trouble. After you complete your hyper jump, the reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Unless, of course, it's broken because stuff breaks all the time in this game. As you will see. Mars! Okay, so we've reached Mars, and there is Mars, looking pretty cool. Nice and red, and realistically coloured and styled and stuff. Uh, select your engineer, and turn off the gravity. Okay, so the gravity system is now off, and it's indicating that it's got no, not enough power to operate. So that is good. I'm going to add it to the weapons. So the weapons become more effective with the more power they have. Same with the shields, same with the engines. Although, I did once try engines with four bars, because you can later get boosts and stuff. But uh, I didn't see that much difference, to be honest. Uh, it didn't seem that effective. If <laughs> The game's so hard you won't notice anything little at all. Select your security officer and put her in the gun instead. Now you can see how difficult it is for her to move around if I just put the gravity on. Oh, I can't because the game's locked me out. But if I put the gravity on, she'd get there three times quicker. Enemies incoming. Full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Okay. So I'm going to keep the comms lady on because I want to see where the enemy are. Oh. Once I click that button, I have control. Uh, that's the objective. So let's at least head in that direction. Here they come. Three little fighters. We've got a couple of sneaky little fighters down here as well. So weapons are slightly higher. Obviously, as we level up, all of your crew will get uh, special abilities which will make them uh, more effective at doing certain things. And you got to watch out for these. There are these sneaky, bigger ships that actually try and board you. Uh, they're incredibly dangerous. And once they're on board, you can't concentrate on anything else other than trying to get rid of the aliens that are on your ship. Um, and again, coming back to the fire extinguisher problem that I mentioned earlier, even when you're being boarded by the enemy and you've picked up laser guns to fight them off, your crew will still stand there, unless the aliens come and actually physically stand next to them, they don't attack them unless you tell them to. Which I find incredibly frustrating, especially when under huge amounts of pressure, which is basically 99% of what this game is. It's time-limited pressure. So like I say, if you like a challenge, I don't know of any game that's more challenging than this. I can't think of one off the top of my head. But then also, whilst playing this game, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. So if you look here, the reactor health has come down, so you've got to deal with that. With the engineer. Oh my god, we've got enemy coming in all over the place. They are all over us. So for now, it makes sense that we keep everything as is. See, we take, look how quickly our shields are going down. 66% already. 33%. We are taking an absolute pounding right now. Come on, game. Okay. 
And uh, yeah, I'd just like to point out that this is like a, a beginner's mission. This is still the tutorial. This is where it's easy. It gets way harder than this. I think that's some of the nasty ones because there's only two of them. So they're going to try and board our ship. You can see our shields are quite seriously damaged. Now normally with the captain you can tell him to fly defensively which puts our shields that are at maximum capacity towards the enemy. But uh, we haven't unlocked that ability yet so right now the cat's just, I don't know what he's doing, he's just flying around, he's like having a Sunday drive. Now you can see these two big ships, these are going to try and board us. Um, effectively they're desperately trying to reduce our our um, shield so that they can get close enough to actually get aboard the ship. And they're pretty flipping effective at it, I've got to tell you. To uh, sort of put it into context, these little fighters are kind of like wasps. Or maybe even bees. And uh, yeah, these ones are like bees. And those big ones that try and get hold of you, they're like wasps. And then the really nasty ones are like hornets. These these things are nasty. Super nasty. Right, I think we've... Yes. Cleared the enemies, returned to base. Fantastic. So we're going to do a hyper jump there. Just hope we don't get attacked again on the way. So I think this is either the last tutorial mission, or there's one more, I forget now. Um, so we're either going to wrap it up here or we're going to have one more mission before I wrap it up. But either way, either way, um, this is a, a really good tutorial into the game. I think there's a few things they could have uh, identified a little earlier. But um, yeah, I mean, if you've, if you've played uh, Bomber Crew, then you, you pretty much know what to expect. And you pretty much know uh, the control systems. They're very similar to Bomber Crew. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little bit about your captain pilot uh, controls. By the way, I hate this zoom. I want this zoom. And it always goes to this one. Urgh, stop reviewing the game! <laughs> uh, okay, so we're, we've got waypoint locked. And effectively, that's because we uh, got the old scanner out and we locked on to a waypoint. So the captain is flying there. Uh, right now so we can click on patrol and that deactivates the waypoint so now we're not flying towards the waypoint we are just patrolling basically going around in circles so in order to go back to the waypoint you have to click it again there's so much I want to tell you but I really can't I'm not allowed to and I'm it, I'm fighting tooth and nail not to go into uh, critical analytics for this game. I really am. There's a lot. If it was my game, there's a lot I would change. Okay, here we are at home, and let's let's go to the base. I also think it's 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 pretty underhanded to let me promote the game, but not be allowed to review it it's like you know before you buy the game i've got early access to it i know all the the good bits and i know all the bad bits but i'm not allowed to tell you about any of the bad bits i just think that's a bit naughty I, I i really don't agree with that but that's the embargo i agreed to so i'm trying so hard to uh to do that i really am so anyway everybody is up uh ranked up to level two so the captain now has an attack and a de defensive maneuver. Um, we get a reactor boost from the engineer. Shield replenish happens instantly. Uh, and we got focus fire for the gunners as well, which is super cool. Uh, and then it just basically tells you what those things are, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to pause it and read it yourself if you want to. We've also unlocked some equipment, some light armoured suits, battle helmets, uh, armoured boots, light gloves, etc. And as we're progressing through the tutorial, you see we've unlocked a new thing called crew gear. So I think there's one more tutorial. There's one more tutorial for us to go through. Uh, this is the crew gear room. This is where you upgrade 
the crew gear effectively now you can't click on the people here which i find annoying but you have to click on this bit up here so one thing i would recommend you do is figure out who your rear gunner is uh who is my rear gunner i think it's you isn't it i think it's you so we're going to equip uh that to him because as the rear gunner he gets hit by everything so he really takes the brunt of all the attacks so uh, I highly recommend that you upgrade him to some armoured outfits as quick as possible the downside of that is obviously his movement speed is reduced but to be honest with you other than trying to fight off aliens when they board the ship you don't need him to move around too much so we don't need to worry about that and obviously once we get past the next bit of the tutorial which we're about to do now we will also unlock the ability to upgrade the ship as well um, and there's some really cool upgrades on that and some uh, it's again it's very similar to bomber crew in, in that regard regard rather uh, so these are both low risk missions although that doesn't mean anything I have been under I went on a low risk mission before and got absolutely destroyed um, so there are, there are no easy missions in this game. Anything can go wrong at any time. Uh, so we could transport supplies or we can investigate. So this is basically fighting. Let's do this one. Let's transport some supplies. You can see the routes. Now there are two routes. This is interesting, okay. So, uh, that's annoying. Why does that disappear? That should just stay there. There is no reason for that to disappear. Is it going to come back on? Is it just going to write the air? Okay, fine. So we can take two routes. We can do the quick, sh quick, sh quick route, which is there and across, which is technically one jump, or we can go this way, which is technically two jumps, one, two, as opposed to one. Uh, and that's that's how you need to think about the the navigation in this game. You do get the option to pick which you want. So it's entirely up to you what you do really is right before starting this mission let's quickly go over some of the equipment that's on your ship the equipment is sorted in the equipment racks around the ship you can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions on Athena station there are four types of equipment spacesuits fire extinguishers phase rifles and medkits as a training exercise we started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out lucky me so we're going to get our uh, en engineerio, and we're going to come and grab uh, this. Now, as mentioned, you know he doesn't put the fire out. Stand right next to the fire, and he'll put it out. But why do you need to direct him that much? Stowing uh, things is also very, 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 very important. Otherwise, they float around the ship. Occasionally your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation into your ship, harming your crew. One last thing I am going to say, uh, which is going to be in the review. These um, cabinets, obviously there's two here, two here, one here and one here. There really needs to be one in this room. Really desperately needs to be one in that room. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there really needs to be one in that room. Uh, okay, uh, let's go fix the engine. So the radiation is emanating from the engine. You can see this yellow bubble. The worse that engine gets, the bigger the yellow bubble gets. So if you've got, if you haven't got a spacesuit, you cannot go outside. So you must have at least two because stuff can get sucked out of the spaceship so easily and you'll never see it again. So, at the very least, have two spacesuits on your ship. Um, and if you go outside without a spacesuit suit on, which you can, you will die. And like in Bomber Crew, if you go outside, uh, if you've got somebody on the engine trying to fix it, and then you tell the captain to start doing evasive manoeuvres, he's going to fall off. Uh, you can go and save him because he's in a spacesuit. You've got, I don't know, a minute to get to him, something like that. But, um, yeah, it's... <laughs> you're going to lose a lot of people uh, 
by sending them out there without putting the spacesuits on first or by having them fall off it's just part of the game <laughs> it, it's kind of funny but it's also quite annoying at times when you're under a lot of pressure and things like that happen uh, you will need phase rifles if phasmids i don't know how you pronounce this phasmids boards your ship uh, one of your crew, if one of your crew is incapacitated, you can have another crew member use a med kit to revive them. That's the end of the items training. Continue with your mission. Now, I'm just going to put this away because if I don't, it's going to float around all over the ship. And then when I need it, I won't be able to find it. So that's that done. Right. Uh, so we can turn gravity off and put it on shields whilst we're not... Uh, doing anything particularly interesting so we've got the safest route up here which is the the one with the extra jump and we've got the fastest route here uh, which basically means you're going to get in more combat but um, only once because you've only got one jump or twice because you've got to come back as well I suppose so let's try the fastest route speed up time everything looks good at the moment it won't look like that for long Okay, Captain in charge. And engage. Away we go. So I'm going to try and put one of these up every single day. Uh, I'll do my best. It's, um, it's, it's pretty difficult. I'm also going to try and get through to the mission without actually getting into a fight. If I can just do this quick enough, maybe we can get away with it without being detected by the enemy. Later on, we unlock some stealth equipment that we can use to... Ah, crap, here they come, look. Now, if I start charging now, then we lose the ability to shoot at them. So I, I'm not going to do it. Oh, blimey, we're taking an absolute pounding. I think we need to boost. No, we need to boost shields. We definitely need more shields and engines. Looks like we've got a couple of extra fighters coming. Yeah, this is the uh, obviously the the downside of taking the quick route is that you you're going to end up getting in a lot more trouble. Doing well, guys. Doing really well. Excellent stuff. Three left. So we've got three left. Let's uh, boost weapons because the shields are actually okay at the moment. And also uh, we've got defensive maneuvers so we can instruct the captain to only point the ship in the uh, direction of the enemy. Oh my god, look at this. Four more. Right, let's boost. And we'll really power up the guns. We should be able to get rid of these guys a lot quicker. We've also got focus fire, so let's get this on the go. See the captain's turning the back of the ship towards them because we've got better shields there. Nice. Good job, everybody. So the ship's taken a bit of a battering. I just need to... Oh. It's going to take me forever if I've got no gravity. So let's just turn the gravity on. Try and repair all this as quick as, it, as quick as we can. I think the gravity thing is broken. Yeah, it is. You can see some of the crew have got injured. So we'll go and get some health. Now, unlike uh, bomber crew, the health machine has only got a certain amount of uh, health to provide. Nearly went back into the asteroids there. By the way, you can hit the asteroids and that takes out your uh, shields as well. So this game is a lot more involved than Bomber Crew. There's a heck of a lot more going on. Come on, Montara and me. Can't even say your name. Right, that's that fixed. So we now have gravity again. 
And one thing that is good is she'll return to her uh, she'll return to her uh, position as soon as she's fully healed. So sometimes they do what you expect them to do. But most of the time they don't. Right. Where to? Uh, we've got to clear the enemies, and then we've got to go over here to the uh, Destrier. Enemies are incoming. Everybody's on the guns, so that's all good. Turn the gravity off. Oh, completely forgot to uh, track them. That was silly. Your crew obviously will not shoot at the enemy until you track them. I mean, even if they can clearly see them. Uh, Capitano, defensive maneuvers, please. Something somewhere. There they are. Oh, it's these big, nasty, nasty ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost and I'm going to put the weapons up to maximum. Because we've got to take these guys out before they try and board us, otherwise we're going to have a real problem. That's one down. Uh, yeah, slight problem. Get on the guns, please. Alright, let's get the shields up. Taking quite a thumping, especially on the bottom shield there. It's okay, I think we're good. So the captain is taking us back through the asteroid field again because he's trying to evade them, which is kind of logical. Okay, that's good. Let's boost up the engines so we can get there a bit quicker. How's everybody's health looking? Brown looks like could do with a bit of health. Oh, the flipping uh, anti-gravity thing is broken again. Mitchell definitely needs some health. Get, get over here. Like I say, the rear gunner takes an absolute pounding all the time. Ah, oh, look. See? I put the, uh, the full kit on the wrong person. I... Cause because I can't tell them apart, when you're in that um, screen where you need to pick what upgrades you give to people, um, you, you can't necessarily guarantee who's who. And uh, obviously I made a bit of a mistake there. I put the full military kit on the wrong person because... I can't press one, two, three, four, which is how I identify who is who. Um, so I ended up putting it on the wrong person. Little things like that just add unnecessary aggravation to uh, to the game, which is already hard enough. Let me tell you. Okay, Mitchell's well enough. So Mitchell's the one that uh, needs to have that uh, military kit added. Right, there's the landing bay. Let's go land. Then we can offload our cargo, which is this bit. Incidentally, I've never done it, but I imagine you can lose cargo out on the back of the ship if you're not careful. And then you'd have to go and retrieve it. Or fail your mission, I guess, is another option. There are also escape pods on the ship, which uh, I haven't used yet. Cool. Okay, so has everybody got their stuff? They've got their focus fire back. I'm not sure why you've got nothing. So you can see here with the nav age, you've got two hyper jumps or three hyper jumps. Um, Paredes could do with some health, but uh, I think we'll wait. Um, you actually do need some health. Yeah, go get that one. Heal yourself. Because without the engineer, it's pretty much game over. The engineer is does it all of all of the important stuff is engineer based. Uh, 
Right, let's find, let's go fastest route home. We're in pretty good condition, I think we can make it home okay. The reactor health is 100%, the shields are 100%. Still just a training mission, so we should be good. Uh, brown, actually, I think it's going to need some, some health, so let's just let's do that now instead of when we're in combat. Hope we don't spot any more enemies on the way. How are we doing here? Oh, asteroid coming in. Oh, oh blimey, that would have hurt. Lucky we missed that one. That was very close. Uh, I've only hit stationary ones before. I don't know how much damage one flying at that speed would do to you. There's one we just bumped into. See, it knocked off our shields by 80% it took. Took 80% of our shields there. Which is just crazy. Alright, let's get those shields fixed up. Now, it is possible to run away when you're being attacked. I have done it once. There's a an award that you can win on Steam. Oh my god, increased enemy activity. This is going to be tough then. Uh, to base. There's base. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're going to go boost. We're going to go maximum engines. We just want to escape. If we can run away, I'm going to run away. Ah, oh, they're going to get to me too quickly. I don't think we're going to make it. No, we're not going to make it. Shields up. Weapons up. Replenish shields. Let's try and get our gunners into position. At least we've got an armoured gunner at the back now. That should help us a lot. Uh, so this is another annoying thing. Um, I, I used replenish shields, um, but before it had finished doing it, I moved her into the gun. So that didn't replenish the shields, but we also lose that ability. So we don't get that back. Uh, yeah, we really need the guns up. Otherwise, these guys are going to board us. Are they being tracked? I think they are. I think they're being tracked. Something's broken again. What's broken now? The O2. Obviously, if you run out of... And the engine as well. If you run out of O2... Focus fire. Focus fire. More fighters coming in. So this is why it's so difficult when you're trying to make a, a, a video and talk as well as as, uh, as play. It just it gets so intense. Uh, Captain, defensive maneuvers, please. Why why did I not click that earlier? Okay, we did pretty good there, but there's a lot of damage. Um, I need to get this engine fixed. Oh, both engines are damaged. Well, that's just flipping brilliant, isn't it? Mitchell, grab the other suit. Now you can see the yellow bar is um, uh, sort of um, poisoning from the engines. And that's that's interesting if you um if you send somebody to go and do an engine it just stops the other person from doing it instantly that's worth noting could lose a few seconds there so this uh, yellow injury is different from the actual injury if i go and heal myself uh, this should come back but not necessarily oh 
Wrong person. Mitchell, come here, please. Thank you. So the captain is uh, just floating around at the moment. Let's uh, go focus here on base. Let's try and get ourselves back to base without uh, having serious issues. Let's stow that, please. Let's stow that. And stow that. Otherwise we won't know where anything is. So Montanaria, you can see the health is coming back up very slowly. Oh no, it's still going down. If I heal myself, it should then come back. But uh, I think we're going to lose a little bit of health there. Just because of the, uh, the poisoning. Right, charge and let's go. Boom. Safely made it, guys. Safely made it home. With all the crew still intact, which is good. And most of the ship. <laughs> most of the ship. Okay. Pretty awesome. So that's all the tutorials, guys. I'll quickly show you around the uh, upgrade that uh, you can do on the ship, because we should have unlocked that as part of completing this final tutorial mission. And then if you'd like to see more, please subscribe, hit the like button, do all the good things to uh, help the channel. So we now have the access to uh, fighter support, which is really important when you get overwhelmed. They can make massive, massive uh, improvements. So we got uh, plasma cannon upgrade mark twos and some standard plating armor. So uh, if our shields go down and they start shooting the ship, that will protect us there a little bit. If we come to the spacecraft, this is where we can make those upgrades. You can see, uh, yes, blah, 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 blah. You can see we've got the armor options here. At the moment we have none. System upgrades, they're going to be important. Weapon upgrades, engine upgrades, escape pod upgrades. At the moment I think we've only got one. So only one crew member can escape. Uh, how much are they? Let's find out. 750 each. And we've only got 6,500. Not even that actually. And obviously uh, the equipment bays. I mean these are, these are so important to get right but uh, it's all very difficult. And you can also come in here with the livery, rename your ship and uh, change all the colors and everything. Put, put some liveries on it and uh, add some extra text and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do in this video is just come in here and I'm going to select Mitchell. And I'm gonna give him the, uh, the heavy armor upgrade because that's what I meant to do in the last episode or in the last mission. And this is the recruitment room. So if we lose anybody, um, this is where we'll recover them from. And I mentioned before that if you click on Bomber Crew Import, you can import your crew from Bomber Crew, which is really quite cool. But uh, we're going to stick with the new guys because they're doing a great job, and we don't need we don't need nobody else. So uh, yeah, if you want to see some more missions, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave some comments below, tell me what you think about the game. Is it, uh, is it what you were expecting? Is it what you're hoping for? What would you like to see? What don't you like? That kind of stuff. Really interested to read it all. So thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you want to say goodbye? Okay. Goodbye and also subscribe to my videos. They're very new. <laughs> they are very new. Thanks, guys. Take care. Goodbye for now.